In today's episode, we start work on the Black W123 and get an update on the Crayford. Right Dan, today you're going to take the engine out of this V8 W123. We are, yeah. Um, now it looks a bonnet full. Well it is a bonnet full. It's tight. It is tight, but they come out and slot in a lot easier than you might yeah expect yeah. <clears throat> i put this one in about 10 years ago right um on my own right um they aren't as bad as they look <laughs> so um this five liter one's coming out and in its place is a 5.6 liter one that's going in um and that's part of this car's transformation into amg spec right Right Dan, so um, this is the engine that's come out of the W123 V8, yeah. that's a 5 litre one yeah. that I put in there about 10 years ago yeah. and this is the one that's going in, this is a 5.6 litre, so uh, just give it a bit more oomph yeah. um, and obviously things have had to be swapped from one yeah, to the other. Some, yeah, some, some yeah. Bits. How did you find getting it out? Uh, tight. Other than being tight, it was actually fairly straightforward. Yeah, they are tight. They fill the hole. Yeah, yeah. They come out and go yeah. in quite easily, don't That's they? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is a big, this is a big one. Um, 
So let's just, let's just look at, at one or two, one or two features of these. Mm -hmm. This engine, when it went in ten years ago, this has got the old style manifold, exhaust manifolds on it. Um, and the one that's going in now has, yeah, it's got what they call Euro headers, and it's got, there are a lot better flow on these. These are really efficient. Uh, we did actually build at one point some tubular exhaust manifolds, um, but they didn't work any better than these standard later Mercedes ones. So we've put those in, that'll give it a power boost. Um, and you can see also, these are the engine mountings that uh, enable us to fit this M117V8 into a W123. We actually designed and made these, uh, well, 10 years ago, uh, and we made a few sets. And I mean, these, this engine's been in a long time, so everything's a bit, a bit dirty, but we will clean it up before it goes in. So that's what makes it all, all happen. Uh, amongst other things. So this is the wiring loom that makes it all happen as well. This is just for the engine and this is part W123, part W126. Makes it all happen. And on top of that about another hundred mods, little things that people don't realise you've got to do. But once you know what to do it all goes all goes in quite easily. So what do you think Danny? Looking forward to driving this when it's done? Yeah, should have a bit more gauche on it. I'll have a lot more go won't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it should do. That's... Will it run smoother as well? No, the, these are a bit rotier, if anything. Right. And this one's having a different exhaust on it as well. Oh, so this, a... this will be quite a rorty thing. Uh, but they do go well. Right. You just got to watch them in the wet. Yeah. Don't forget, they're an bit old twitchy. car. They're twitchy. Yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no ABS, there's no traction, nothing. Right. So It's a lot of know, power to put through yeah, the wheels, isn't it? Yeah, you're driving on your wits. Yeah. Uh, but a great car. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we built about 10 of these, but I won't build any more. This is, I think this was the second one we did. Right. Second or third. Yeah. Uh, and it's been really reliable. It. Yes, it's been good.
That's it, she's in. Nice one. I'd say rather painless. Well, you've said it now. Getting it in, it's in. Painless getting it in, yeah. Yeah. I'll do. Okay, so, Dan, it's back in. It is. Uh, is it going to start? I don't know, we can get to know that, aren't we? Uh, should do. It should do. It's one out, one in. I'll say, yeah. Um, now, this, it, it is going to need detailing. Yeah. This is just sort of, it's got yeah, a few just so pipes, it runs. pipe, yeah, just so when it runs, then we're going to, we're going to detail the engine bay after that, but yeah. we've got, we've got other jobs to do, we've got body work to do, so there's no point in doing that yet, because it's just going to get covered in dust, so yeah. we'll wait till the end, we'll detail it. Yeah. So, um, and there's no exhaust on it yet either, is there? No, so it'll be loud. Yeah. Just... Shall we see if it goes then? Yeah. Well, we'll on. Yeah, yeah. Is it going to run? Is it going to run? I it think run? it will. Is it? Yeah. Why not? Pressure on that. I think so. I'll yeah. start it up, it'd be alright. You've not driven one, have you? No. Oh, they're amazing. These are amazing cars. A W123 with that in it, yeah. it makes for an interesting drive. Yeah. No ABS, no traction control, but a lot of power. Really good. Oh, well done, mate. That's good. Yes. Yeah. Because these are not the easiest things to get right. in and out. It's a tight. Yeah, it was fit, tight. It was tight. I mean, if you throw a penny in there, it would drop out of the bottom. <laughs> is it? Um, no, it's tight, it's much room to play with. No. Well done, good, great. So, next thing is body work, then after that, engine detailing. Today, we're going to talk about this Crayford Mercedes. Now, this is a W1, or it was a W123 Mercedes Coupe, and as you can see, it's lost its roof. As far as I'm aware, they only did about 12 Mercedes. Um, so I've been told, I've not looked into it particularly, but this is one of them, so it's a rare old thing, uh, it's a rotten old thing, but it's coming together okay, uh, you can see we've got the roof and the frames gone, the interior's gone out of it, and we're doing all this so we can start to weld it up, and it needs a ton of weld in this car. The engine is ready to come out, just about, a few more, a few more bits here and there but basically that can come out and we can start repairing uh, the inner wings which are in a terrible state I mean if you look at this here this is had patch after patch after patch and half of that is gone awful awful job there so that's going to take some putting right all this here look look all this it's all rotten so we've got all that to repair and all the floor and all the chassis to repair so there's a ton of welding on this car, but it's a rare car and it's going to look fab when it's done. This car's going to have a, a full colour change to a, a lovely dark blue metallic. It's going to have a full retrim, um, new hood, and everything's going to be detailed. We are going to enter this into the Mercedes-Benz Concours, so that'll be interesting. Uh, not this year, I don't think, probably next year but it will go into that. We'll try for this year, but not sure. So um, let's just look at a few of the things we've, we've found. The, the rust on the inner wings is obvious, and both sides are pretty much the same. Um, under the battery tray will have gone, a typical W123, that will be rotten under there. The bottom of the bulkhead will be rotten. The inner sills will be rotten. The outer sills are rotten. The boot floor is rotten, the floor pans are rotten, the chassis legs at the back are rotten, the inner wheel arches at the back are completely rotten. So there's lots of work to do on it. Uh, I've never worked on one of these before, but what is interesting, you can see how they've, how they've done this, 
how they've altered the body to take the hood. This is the original rear window channel. That's how it was when it was a coupe. But this is all custom made. And it's actually quite nice how they've done that. That's quite impressive. Uh, we've yet to discover what they've done to the structure of the car to uh, try and keep the strength and integrity um, of the body when they've cut the roof off. We aren't sure what, what they've done yet, but I suspect that there will be some kind of strengthening here at the bottom of this B pillar, possibly underneath near the sills, but there's not enough left of them to see it, it's all rotted away. But that'll be interesting to see what they've done. Um, they're a strong car these, so possibly they didn't need to do that much when they cut the roof off. We'll see. Thank you for watching. Join us again soon for more tips and tricks on classic vehicle renovation. Oh. Oh.